Hey guys, what's up Virgo? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. It's gonna be a reading for your immediate future. The situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This could be you. It feels like someone got pissed off at something. It may not even be pissed. It could just be a lot of determination. But the Five of Swords, somebody could have been out for themselves here. Or, you know, more worried about what makes them happy. I don't know. We'll see. Because it looks like there's some heartbreak, some pain. So sometimes, you know, that gets um, mixed up with anger. But we'll see. All right, Virgo. So remember the energies can go both ways. And remember it's a general reading. So just take what's yours and leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. All right. Also, if you guys want to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. All right. What's the word for the Virgs? Oh. There are feelings here. Somebody's really like, oh, wow. A lot of them. Something happened, though. I don't know if somebody's just nervous to approach or... Um, scared because they fucked up to approach? I don't know. It might not be, but there's those nervousness. Could just be nervous because somebody has feelings. I don't want one card. Um... You have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Even if you're not dealing with the um, Cancer, Scorpio, a water sign, this person has a lot of feelings. <sighs> okay. Somebody is definitely in their head with the Nine of Swords here. Like, stressing, worrying. Uh -huh. I don't know how this outcome is going, to be quite honest with you. We have the Three of Swords at the bottom, the Eight of Cups. So you may be turning your back. There may be a new idea or something new that you're going towards. And that may be the center of the stress. Show me this King of Cups. So the King of Cups, you do have love for someone. Could be a Cancer. Oh, all right. So some of you may have two people that you're dealing with with the King of Pentacles. This could be your energy. You also have Cancer energy with the Chariot. What's going on over here? There's an opportunity that's coming towards you. And this may have to do with money or it may be for a commitment. So with the, um, hell with the chariot, it could be a car. But if we're just sticking to love, you could either have two people. Because there's an opportunity that's going to present itself. And you are, at the end of the day, it looks like, you know, walking away and going to see maybe what else is out there. Possibly. We'll clarify it. Show me the Ace of Pentacles. What is this new opportunity? The Ace of Pentacles is usually a solid opportunity. What is this Ace of Pentacles for Virgo? And this will probably vary person to person, but I'm going to see if I can find out anything thank you same card i just showed you <clears throat> it's the opportunity for commitment for it could be money abundance um four wands at the bottom so this could be marriage this could be a home this could be a lot a chunk of money but whatever this opportunity is like i said it's solid and it brings a lot of stability with it it could have to do with a car it could have to do with moving traveling family money but somewhere also, um, your emotions are here. Show me the nine of swords. Because this is somebody anxious, worried, and, you know, got a lot on the brain. It does feel like there's a silver lining. Of course, it's not being seen right now. The Gemini card with the lovers. So you could be dealing with the Gemini. The lovers could be a choice as well. that many show me uh, the six of cups this could be a situation that involves children or somebody from the past an old friendship an old flame something like that 
but it feels like honestly with the lovers there can always be a choice because there's a third energy there whether it's a person or you know maybe the situation like i said with kids or but with the hangman it's it's kind of feeling stuck but it's looking at things from all angles to get this realization to be able to see something clearly because it feels like there's you know maybe you've been waiting for this the king of swords Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, energy. You may have been waiting for communication from someone or for somebody just to make their move. Because we have a queen of wands right here. So this is Aries, Leo, Sag, but you could have multiple people like attracted to you. We could have up to four people here. Because <laughs> this Knight of Cups technically could be a whole different person. It could be like the younger one. Like if you know if you're out there single and just doing your thing or whatever you're doing, I don't know. But um it almost feels like that's this person, this this king of swords. Like even if it's not an Aquarius Libra Gemini, it started out with somebody over here who has feelings and now they've went into this it's it's like a determination. The King of Swords is very determined to come back around. Um it feels like somebody notices something or is seeing something see how like the head split up but this is about seeing things from all angles different perspectives so it feels like now this this king wants to come forward with some type of offer here but um at the very least having feelings show me the knight of cups let's see what this if this is a love offer yeah the wheel of fortune so it's about divine timing moving forward this is faded for you this is a faded opportunity and um it's been a timing thing um or kind of just waiting for the right time or mustering up the courage because this has been on hold for a little bit all right so for the outcome virgo you got the eight of cups and the ace of wands so it really feels like you're going i mean this is somebody turning their back and walking away but you have the eighth of wands so it feels like there's something that you're going out there to explore and i think it's this new opportunity to be honest with you show me the ace of wands this could be a new idea this could be something that you're very passionate about or a person what is the ace of wands uh, i don't want that many what is the ace of wands so virgo thank you exactly what i said same card Commitment. You're walking away towards an idea or a relationship. That's the same kind of mojo that's over here. Both aces and these are the same cards I showed you in the beginning. You're walking away towards a new connection, a new home. Um, something like that. Tell me more about the four of wands. Something that looks stable. With the Knight of Cups, for some of you, um, the Knight of Cups can be like a, a proposal or something. So you could be moving in together. It could be a new relationship. For some of you, whatever this is over here, this opportunity that's coming, I just heard you've never been offered this before. Okay. Show me the four of wands for Virgo. Too many. But I did just see the ten of swords. So it's like with this, um, you're walking away and ending something. But you're manifesting something new. A thought, an idea, a connection. But with the magician and the high priestess, you may be keeping it to yourself. Because that's kind of the, the rules. I mean, not the rules. But anyways, when we manifest, we keep it to ourselves. And you do have the power to manifest this idea, this passion, whatever this is that you're going towards, this stability here. Um, and it, it looks like it's happening pretty damn quick. To be quite honest with you. So interesting interesting virgo yeah see 
could be Cancer Pisces, could be a Scorpio. There's been some type of change. You may have had options or choices. You may have kept this hidden um, with the moon there. Very, very interesting. All right, Virgo, I hope this helps. I hope it resonated. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time.